Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I'm sharing with you a craft haul of things that I bought from Target. Now some of these things were from the dollar spot and some of them were in the clearance section. So little hot tip, if you go to the end caps at Target, you will find things that have been discontinued and they're great buys. So I wanna share with you what I got and what I'm hoping to do with it. So the first thing I wanna share with you are a couple some things, some things I got from the dollar section. And hold on, let me grab the other one too because I was really excited to find this really pretty silver cording. Um, you actually get eight yards of it, which I think is a lot for one dollar. And you know, silver and gold metallics are really hot right now. So I picked those up. The other thing is if you are over there paying attention, you will find all kinds of stickers and rub-on transfers. So I got two packs of these cute bunny ones. Um, it includes the wooden craft stick, reusable for your crafting supplies. And um, again, this is just, you know, one dollar. And I think it's just one sheet worth, but that's okay. That's a lot of goodie for a dollar because you get a border, you get some words, you get all these little cute bunnies, and then the little... Um, tulips at the bottom. So I bought two of those because I like them. Then there are these versions of rub-on transfers and these are the full color ones. Now these ones are all borders. Again, you can get the little wooden stick. And honey, I'm telling you, there's even a piece of little twine in there that you can reuse. But I loved all of these borders. You can't even see this one because it's kind of white. But that's a lot of goody. And then they also had alphabets in these pretty rainbow colors. So um, for a dollar, I thought, yeah, I'm all over that like white on rice. Okay, so then we also had some metallic stickers. Again, you can tell in the Target um, dollar spot that metallics are huge because this is the kind of thing you see. All of these cute bunnies in silhouette form in metallic foil and then also pretty metallic foil alphabet. Now I like these because you can use these all year. There's nothing that says like these things are for spring. So go buy them and then tuck them away for later on. Now also, oh, and um, these a dollar, a lot of stickers for a dollar. Great for your Easter cards. So we also had these adhesive wood shapes. Now these are supposed to be kind of egg shaped. They really are true ovals. Um, the colors are kind of spring pastels. I thought they looked a little bit like maps, like of the world. Am I just, I must be very imaginative because this kind of looks like North America to me a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, um, these were $3. But again, I thought this would be kind of good if you did like a little stamp on top. It would be a great focal point. You could put some words on here, um, but there are a lot of them for $3 and they're all pre-painted and leafed. So can't wait to use those. Also in the dollar spot, I picked up some mini tassels. Notice that they are gray and white and silver. So it'd be great for the tags that I make or on cards. Now let's see. Oh, here's one more set of rub-ons I forgot to show you. These are just general spring ones. Um, and they say like peachy and spring is in the air. So great for cards and tags and things like that. So also in the dollar spot, I found some note cards. So this is kind of perfect, right? You have 30 note cards and I don't know if that's 30, probably 15 each, right? <clears throat> it's 30 count. So probably 15 note cards and 15 envelopes, that's okay pre-cut and ready to go for $3, I will take that because then you can add a little robon and a little sticker or whatever and you are good to go. Now, let's talk about some of the things I found on the end caps in the clearance section. So I found these foil transfers and I opened up, I wanna show you, it looks like you're getting kind of more than you are. Again, woohoo, they even give you the stick. But what you see that's black is what you can actually rub on. So you'd have to cut each one of these out and then stick it on. That's a little more cumbersome, but look at those cute designs. So, you know, what you're getting is this kind of triangle, this little diamond, these, this little whatever this is. Um, and again, good for like a border or a bold design. I even thought this was kind of nifty. So this was on clearance for $4.18. It used to be $6. I figured I'll give it a try, right? On the end cap, I'll take it. I also picked up some of these pretty party fans. Now these are in the party section. It was on the end cap. It was only $6, but 
again, for five fans, I figured this would be kind of fun to put in my studio. So I'm gonna decorate my studio with this. And then I found these paper fans in the dollar spot for $3, a dollar a fan. So I think this will make a fun display um, in my craft room because you know your craft room should be pretty too. Now my big find, I, and if I can go back and get another one of these, I am, for $7 was the highest ticket item I purchased. But it is a stamp carving kit from Kiwi Crate. Now if you subscribe to these, these can be like $20 to $30 a kit uh, if you're a subscriber. So to get one for, um, you know, under $7, it said that it was 10 initially. I still think it's a good value. What you're gonna get inside are the things that you need to make little stamped animals. And I haven't even opened it yet. I'll probably do like a little mini review. But they even give you the little stamp pads. So you get templates, a carving tool, the carving block, and uh, the stamp pads. I think that that is an amazing deal. So what I'm gonna do is just um, dip out and then I'm gonna show you some things that I made. All right, I spent a couple of hours playing and I wanna show you what I made. Now, most of my cards have a background that I've stenciled or I've painted, but you could just as easily use scrapbook paper that you have. Um, but you can see here just in the first one, oh, I forgot to take off my little piece of masking tape that I was using to hold it down. But um, I used the rub-ons here on a plain background to make a very simple card. This one, I combined the wood element, one of the rub-ons, and a sticker to create what I think is a really cute little Easter card. This is another one that kind of features that paper, but I used a different die cut and just one of those gold foil bunnies because he's so cute. Here are some of the gold rub-ons. At, um, also uh, with the wood embellishment that I stamped and embossed on top of, and you can do that pretty easily. Here I did some really traditional looking cards. It's a rub-on uh, on a die cut piece. Here's another bit of rub-on on that purple paper. This is another hand painted background on watercolor. And so, these are some of my absolute favorites. I love these. Again, this is all the rub-ons with my hand-painted paper. Super cute. And another one featuring the rub-ons. These uh, rhinestones were also in the clearance section, but at Michael's. And here's the last one, just a combination of the gold rub-ons and the sentiment rub-ons. Thanks so much for watching and checking out this craft haul video. Please check out some of my other videos, subscribe, and as always, have a crafty day.